This is so cool. I'm really glad to be here. Um, I just want to say thank you to Ignite. This is really cool what they're doing, you guys. This is great. I'd love to be here. Um, so we all have events in our lives that change utterly the course of our lives. Whatever we were thinking we were going to do is completely different now. And this is, I'm going to tell a story about one of those things. This happened when I was 24 years old. And um, this is one of those things that you should be maybe careful about saying yes to. So I was a skinny kid. I was 24 years old. I was working in, I was living in Santa Barbara working as a cook. And um, I had no direction at all. I had 14 jobs, and I'd been fired from nine of them at that point. And uh, I was at this drunken keg party one night. And I, I met this guy, at, and he said, uh, he said, what do you do? And I said, well, I'm a cook. And he said, well, really? I said, what do you do? And he said, I'm the first mate of the Star Pilot. And I was like, ooh, the Star Pilot. This is a ship that had been moored off of Santa Barbara for years, and it, you know, everybody thought it was beautiful. And he said, yeah, you should come aboard. We need a cook. So I did come aboard, and uh, I had no idea where the ship was going, and I didn't actually even really care. It turns out <laughs> it was going to Panama. It was actually going to New York City for the Tall Ships Parade via the Panama Canal. But I didn't know that, and so I came aboard the next night and cooked a meal for these guys, and they said, yeah, you're it. You're the cook. And so I embarked on the hardest work that I have ever done in my life. And it was incredibly consuming and difficult. Uh, we were getting up at all hours of the day, and this is in the daylight here, um, and working this ship. So the ship was really poor, and you can see it's really poor because I have this pair of shorts that I'm wearing here. I'm on the far right there. I'm wearing this pair of shorts. The pair of shorts shows up several times in this slideshow. <laughs> Um, the ship was entirely operated manually, and we had to work pretty hard to move the ship at all. The ship was, the ownership of the, of the boat was uh, unclear, and so it, it, it fell to the crew that we could move the ship wherever we wanted to take it as long as the owner could show up and have the stateroom whenever he appeared. <laughs> so um, a bunch of misfits and people got together and moved this ship to New York City for the Tall Ships Parade in 1986. So this is a story about how things that you do when you're young can change your entire life. And there's still this bell that got rung back in those days is still ringing today. In fact, I just two days ago friended on Facebook two members of the crew, three members of the crew that I hadn't been in touch with in 32 years. These people are still parts of my life. So here's picture of the star pilot underway with all of its sails and the beautiful ship that we sailed. Um, I got off the ship in, in Panama um, for reasons I'll get to in a second. I was the cook, and I was taking care of uh, 22 crew members, <laughs> like these guys. This is uh, Mike and Paul, and these guys could really eat a lot of food. So the thing I didn't know and the thing that nobody told me was that when you're on board a ship, the ship is the heartbeat. The, I'm sorry, the, 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 the galley and the cook is the heartbeat of the ship. This is where everybody comes to smoke and to gossip and to tell their stories. And I had no idea. I was a skinny kid, and somebody thrust me in this job, and I was working quite hard, <laughs> getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning and going to bed after midnight every night, night after night after night. So, but what I learned about at that time was taking responsibility. I learned about how to be a man. I learned about what it was to actually stand up and do what you said you were going to do, which is something that stayed with me all the rest of my life. And so here we have Paul, the ship's carpenter, is carving a new piece of wood for the wood that was blown out in a storm the night before we had to make our own parts. Here's me as a skinny kid, 24 years old, wearing the same pair of shorts. So the thing I want to talk about, though, is the transformation that happens when you do these things. So many years ago, it comes back, and it comes back, and it comes back again. I still think about the star pilot almost every day of my life. And here I am, graduated to a pair of pants. <laughs> Six months later, just before I got fired from this job, too. And I was left on a dock in Panama. 
And this is the last time I saw the star pilot right here. It was the only time I ever saw the star pilot underway when I wasn't aboard. And I watched the ship sailing away. And I got back to San Francisco six months later on another ship. But the thing I want to say, just in closing here, is that be careful what you say yes to. Because it might turn out to be something great. Thank you.